What is up, everybody? In this video, we're going to be doing our second attempt at no hitting Elden Ring while randomized. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. If this run sounds crazy, that's because it is. Leave a like or a dislike and a comment below to let me know how you feel about this type of run and if you want to see more. During this run, I was able to apply some of the knowledge I had gotten during the first run, so we were able to make a nice improvement. Yo! <laughs> Before we get into that, today's video is sponsored by Naraka Blade Point. Naraka is a fast-paced, melee-focused battle royale with combat and movement akin to Sekiro. They are currently in a massive crossover event with a game that a lot of Souls fans have been raving over recently, Wo Long. In Naraka, you're going to be able to join various events and get a bunch of different Wo Long styled cosmetics for free, including the mask of the famous general Lu Bu. During this crossover, both of the games will be totally free on Xbox Game Pass. Naraka is also doing a free weekend, which means that you can get the game this weekend until March 19th totally for free on the official website and on Epic Games. Like a lot of other battle royales, there's a massive 60 player arena and a constantly shrinking safe zone. But what makes this game unique is the emphasis on melee combat and movement. The game has grappling, a double jump, rolling, and parrying. And as somebody who really enjoyed Sekiro, this game caught my eye instantly. I think my favorite aspect of the game is the movement, because you can zip across the map really quickly and use the terrain to get an advantage over your opponents. There's also a wide variety of hero skills and weapons, each of which having unique movesets that lend themselves to different fighting styles. Naraka has also just introduced a brand new hero. Akos is the first hero in Naraka who can transform himself into a beast, making him one of the best choices if you're looking for a fast-paced hero. If any of this sounds interesting to you, there's going to be a link in the description where you can get the game and give it a try. And now, back to the video. I'm basically almost always going to go with either the bow class or a mage. Okay, this one's got sleep and it's got a rot dagger. Not bad. I'm going to go with this one. Look at this drip, dude. I've noticed a lot of you who watch my videos regularly aren't subscribed, so if you enjoy this sort of content, I'd greatly appreciate if you would consider doing so. Nah, nothing great here. One smithing stone, two. And yeah, if people want to, if people want, like I always say, dude, if people disagree with some of the rules, I, I do on a run. They're like, feel free to just do the run yourself and then do a better version than what I did. That's what I usually say. Yeah, Gino Makima, dude, the legend. <laughs> All right, who do we got? Oh, this is not easy. Oh my god, he's got a lot of HP. Gino Makima. What I'm excited about is that I'm going to get so much better at the game while doing this run. Like, just getting reps on all these bosses that I don't normally fight. Oh. Man, nice arena. Guess that's why this guy's in a flat arena. That rot's doing some good work. Nice. Funny dude, Stormvale is honestly like easier most of the time in the randomizer. Fuck, I spoke too soon. You weird ass bird? Why are you coming in here? What the fuck is that? Man, birds are, are brutal to get on this. Oh. Ah. Oh boy. Mage. Oh! Man, why are you guys not allowed to fall down? Oh. Not good Stormvale RNG, dude, right there. Not good. No, I'm not gonna quit out ever. Oh boy. Invalidate the run. Well, I, I like I don't know what people mean by invalidate. Oh, oh, that's horrible. Just gotta get rot somehow. 
Better go for the tree one first, I think. Oh. Like, this is just such a classic Elden Ring duo fight, dude. You got... It's like, oh yeah, we're gonna just make two enemies attack you. And that's it. <laughs> like, it's... Like, he just sits there, menacingly. There we go. Okay, we should be able to get some separation now that he's in phase two, I think. Just separate for f five seconds, please. Surely. Oh. That's tough, man. But to be like, I actually would have gotten that zero hit if I didn't. Uh, like, I, I I was just reading chat at the start of the fight, and that's that's like the only reason I didn't zero hit that. It, it wouldn't take much to make this boss really, really good because the enemies themselves are really cool. I like I, I like I was saying yesterday, a good a good kind of reference point for a good duo fight is is demon princes, right? So like, so let's say let's say the the short sword and shield guy is aggressive at you, and and then the sh and then the you know the spear guy is going passive, like he goes into his like passive phase or something, and he's just shooting that that long range attack at you, but and then they like alternate or something, like it would be perfect, dude. Well, I I'm not gonna kill him because I don't really have a good weapon for him, even though it's the same enemy. Ooh. This is going too far. No, I, I, this is still my favorite Souls thoughts. game at this point in time. Here. Even though, like, obviously there's things I don't like about it. I'm hungry. Playing well long? Um, I, I don't think so. They actually offered me, uh, like, early access, but... I, I just, I, I don't know if I'm interested. Motherfucker. I was really lucky. What is even here, dude? Underground flower. Oh god. He's the teleporter. Oh, that was nice. Alright. Gotta make sure I don't trigger the invasion here. Whoa! What the hell? Okay. Maybe not. Dude, if they make another painting DLC, I'm calling the police on them. Like, just somebody must have a different idea at some point. It's not looking great. I guess we have a bow. I mean, maybe I can use the bow here. How is everybody poising my attacks? Like, even just this random enemy just goes through. Oh, it's not the big one. That's too bad. Just this knight here. No! Ah. Hate to see this. All right, well, you know what? We get the medallions and we're only at three hits. That's not bad. I'm gonna have to get quite a bit better at the game though. Oh, number two. Um, let's go back here. I, I think I'm going to go into weeping, dude. There, there's a lot of potentially really good stuff here. But maybe, like, maybe I shouldn't come here until later in the run until, like, I actually need to. Why so late on YouTube uploads? Uh, what do you mean by that? It just, it, it takes time to get that edited and, and put out. 
Oh, wow. That's such a good item to get. What's up, Sensei? Uh, it's going okay. I mean, we're on PB pace right now. That's good, but I can change in a heartbeat. I practice and I practice and I practice until I'm ready to get it. And it... What is this like behind the back shot? Oh my god. How did you even aggro? Jesus, dude. Oh. Oh no, what is this lag? Oh god, there's something bad here. Oh. I wonder what this means. <laughs> 10 right cards. Yeah. All right, there's also a graveyard here. I wonder how realistic it is for us to like try to actually kill these enemies. Please don't dodge this. Like, what am I even thinking? We're playing Elden Ring, dude. No! Aha! <laughs> Get predicted. I'm actually, I'm not certain how many enemies there are in this graveyard. Are there five? It'll actually, that'll actually be useful to know. Six? Oh my god. We actually just picked up a, an interesting weapon. Yeah, we could go with the Dragon Scale Blade, dude. It's it's basically the Katana version of the Dragon Halberd, but I, I don't know if it's quite as good. We got a, a Talisman that has some use, at least. Scope out the enemy. I guess I can actually go around this way, maybe. Okay, well, we're getting... I mean, we're getting s something set up here. So... Oh, it's got that buff on it. Yeah, this is like the Ice Lightning... Well, 160 AR. All right, we're going with the Dragon Skull Blade. He's too good for me. I can't. Yeah, see how see how nice it is when we start out with like a bow or just any range. It's very important. Oh my god. Okay, let's not be greedy. In the moment, I wasn't happy about it, but looking back at the Great Club, that was definitely one of my favorite weapons. I think. Oh, lightning tier. Oh. Okay, finally some good stuff, dude. Okay, good thing I came here. Yeah, in hindsight, that was one of my favorite runs. Oh. Oh, that's big. All right, we got we got some stuff here, you guys. We got the bell bearing, so we can get ourselves, I think, a plus five now. The dex tier is also good for us. I, I don't really want to spend too many runes, but we're actually getting some good talismans on this run and stuff. Ritual Sword Talisman and Radagon Scar Seal. It's pretty good. Okay, I guess plus four is not bad for this point in the game. Oh, yeah, let me check if the Gargoyle Twin Blade was here. We could try it out. Okay, I guess we're going with the quality build. This is really expensive to upgrade to. Okay, we just had enough. Any infusion? Um, do I have. I have Seppuku. I didn't even realize that. Troll's Knight Sword. That's another good weapon, dude. Ooh. Okay, let's just... Yeah, last time that was a bird, and I, like, I sprinted out into the open and just immediately got... Oh! <laughs> okay, well, what do I do here? All right, what do you got for me? I got I, a lot of work to come here. <laughs> That's pretty good. I will take that. Wow, this is, this is the best build we've gotten so far, I think. Insane seed right here. I'm going to go with bleed for now, and I'm just going to go kill Grail for some more runes. Got 86 at the moment, but I think it has more than that with this. Like, look how much bleed we're doing here. Yeah, just all the all the bleed and frost immune bosses, dude. 65k. Just hopefully we can get a few more smithing stones or somber stones, and that'll probably determine just which what one of these two we use. All right, collection split done, I guess. Oh my god, you guys, this route, this run is insane. <laughs> I'm gonna go equip that. I go, gotta go get a weapon and put it on. Right, where's that? Oh. It's a pretty happy, heavy weapon to put Golden Vow on, but it's okay. Okay, let's see who we got here. It'd be hilarious if it was like Rikard and just all these weapons I've set up. It just doesn't matter. Hmm. What's Twin Blade Jump Attack? Ooh, that's actually... Is that a piercing attack? Okay, we're gonna use that. I actually don't know if I should summon people for this, but I guess I will. Yeah, send in the goons, dude. Oh, yeah, they're going to get the the curse mist. They're going to die to it. That's your stream, dude. Maybe I shouldn't have summoned those guys. going to make this take a lot longer. I'll just let them die. Who's alive? Nobody's even alive over there. All right.
Oh, he's doing all these like weird follow-ups because he's so close. All right, just please die so I can kill the boss. <laughs> I need you to die. There, okay, there we go. All right, let's do it. Fight me. Fight. Fight. What is this? I don't think I want to summon anymore. I, I'm just worried about this, like, terrain here. But obviously the, the boss thinks that there's an enemy right next to him. Hey. Oh. Okay. Yes, good. Bait him away. Ideally, we're, we just bring him to flat terrain. Dude, the bow's, like, not even bad here. No. No. Don't do that. Oh. Oh boy. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Oh my god, he's like Sonic. Oh, this is a disaster. An Ash of War to the head would do some good damage on him. Look at that damage, dude. <sighs> yeah, we just we're just gonna bow him down, I guess. Hey. Oh my god. Okay. He's letting me in here, finally. Yeah, we can actually fight him here, though. As long as he attacks me. There we go. There's some damage. What a boss fight. Here we go. All right, we are currently five hits ahead of our PB. That's pretty good. It's actually, it's, it's really fun, you guys, when, when I'm doing a run and I'm actually like trying to improve the PB rather than just get the run immediately. Oh, all right. Twin Blade should be decent here, I think. Yeah, well, his dogs aren't part of the... His dogs aren't part of his, like, actual boss fight. Yeah, I don't know if a Charger 2 is safe here, but... Oh my god, that's not a good idea. <laughs> I usually just like to backstab him, just nice and simple. Yeah, nice nice iframes on, on the wake-up, dude. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, Dude, I didn't know he he did that for the side. Damn it. All right. Well, that's uh See, we learned something there though, right? Death root. All right, four hits ahead of PB. What is happening with him? Wow. Good weapon. Getting like a lot of good stuff on this run, dude. Oh, <laughs> I guess that was worth it. This is where like picking off enemies with the bow would be wise. Ooh, that's not a good enemy to have on here. Yeah, Kukri is actually maybe a decent idea. I don't know if these guys will turn though. Okay, this... Oh, boy. Please don't be the duo. Okay, it's, it's not the duo. Oh, my God. Can I backstab this guy? Because they, they have some, like, decent poise, right? Maybe they don't.
Okay, nice boss to get. I just, yeah, I, I've never really, <laughs> I've never really, uh, fought those guys, so. But that was not bad. We're getting a lot of status effect stuff on this run. Like, we got the poison, we got the frost. We got the bleed. Is there a way that I can see who this is? Oh, no. My run was so good. Oh, that's actually so bad. I don't have Vow of the Indomitable or anything like that. So, because it's phase one right card. Like, I'd much rather phase two right card, I think. No, I know we get Serpent Hunter, but like, we still got to deal with like earthquake shit and stuff. So, I'm almost wondering if I should summon the NPC here. Okay. Get good. Just do not earthquake me. Okay. I, I didn't realize it would start me so close to him. Why do you not follow up? It's over. Yeah, like, right card phase one is, is just really bad to get. Why do you not follow up your attacks, though? What is wrong with you? Dude, I guess we might we might be able to do a poison dodge where we like run directly into his face. Easy. Wait. What? Okay, yeah. Easy. Okay, so, yeah, th maybe Rikard's actually insanely easy then. <laughs> because, like I was saying, it, it, you know, the, the poison attack is really bad because it forces you away from the boss and then you get the earthquake. And just running to the side isn't a consistent dodge because, like, the actual spread of poison is random. Yeah, I think, I think when he does the poison, you just run in and the poison probably can't connect with you there. All right, man. Four hits going into mount. Like, this is actually, a, this is a really good run. All things considered. Uh, key, key items are not randomized, so that... Oh, boy. Oh, we have the Beast Horse, though. And I just crocked myself with poison. Okay, I, I got a little... A little... Carried away right there. I was, I was too focused on those enemies, and I for, just totally forgot that there was a bunch of poison right there. Yeah, the poison's a trap. Oh! Oh! That's horrible. Horrible boss to get right here, dude. Damn it, dude. I literally jinxed it. All right, let's go to round table. Just see if... Because this, this is a very tanky area. So the bosses get scaled up quite a bit here. Going back and looking for a somber five at some of the merchants in Weeping would be worth it. I'm going to go do it. I think it makes sense. Give me something good. Come on, bell bearing. Oh, and it's just always a golden seed. Give me a five. Target shackle. Dang, dude. What the hell? It, dude, it looked like a mosquito was holding up that chain. Like a giant mosquito. You guys see that? <laughs> I'm going to go check in Jarburg. I've actually never been to this graveyard. Come on. Give me some fives, bro. Damn it. Well, we can at least upgrade the twin blade, I think, right? That'll have to do. All right. Let's see who we get. Oh, it's a boat. Okay. It's a good start. One of the simpler bosses. Fire boat. It 
Does he even do anything? I guess it doesn't on this. Bro, look at that damage. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. This is interesting. I, I This is another boss I don't really know the moves that very well of, but... Oh, can you sleep these guys, really? Like, for how long? Yeah, I just I just don't know this moveset is the problem. Like, at all. I'm going to try to learn it on the fly. Oh, my God. Man, I didn't do much damage. Cause I, yeah, I just don't know the moveset, dude. This is the problem. I made a save file, though, so I can practice this boss after. This, this should be a very easy boss to get. Yep, yeah, this is what I get. It's funny, like I, I do a I do a like a crucible duo fight and it's like no problem, and then pumpkin head duo get blasted by them, dude. Damn, dude. Oh! Oh, he actually summoned, bro. What the hell? Oh my god, what? That's insane. Because we fought like three Mariners so far, and not a single time have I actually seen the summon go through. Maybe. maybe. Oh my god, that was so lucky. Like, see how simple it is. I just. Okay. I know this guy's got like an insane triple spin attack. Oh! <laughs> God, this is this is so annoying. Oh fuck! I didn't even know he could do that. Why is he not doing the summon, though? <laughs> oh my god, dude. This is insane. I literally just need to turn on Cheat Engine and, like, practice this enemy. We also gotta figure out that, that Mariner summon thing, because we're gonna be getting those, those enemies a lot. Who would have thought that this run would end to the pumpkin head duo? <laughs> of all bosses, dude. Wow, that's some damage. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, yeah, he's totally summoning. Maybe that's something he can't do until the second encounter. Because, like, he did it last time, but he didn't summon anybody. And I didn't cancel the attack, right? Okay, let's start with this guy. Huh. Oh, I could probably strafe that one, I guess. What the hell? Oh, he's got... I don't know if I like rolling to the side, man. There's actually a really good moveset on these guys, because the, uh... Like, the two twin blade hits are like an uppercut. See, so yeah, this is how I learn bosses. I mean, you just try out different stuff when you can't die. Yeah, that's purely brain-dependent. Maybe in, like, a, fra a, a flat arena, that would work, but... Whoa! Oh, he does a random new- What is this? Oh, what the fuck? Because, you know, a lot of enemies have different combos at lower HP. Let's see if he does anything different. Okay, I guess we're probably okay now, I guess. Nice. I actually know the moveset of this guy now. Alright, let's learn this guy now. So we just spent, I guess, probably... I don't know if it was actually 40 minutes, but it was probably like 20 minutes on that guy. What a legend. Oh my god! Whoa! That's insane. This guy seems like there's a lot more punish openings. Oh my god, he's got like... These secret attacks.
Yo. <laughs> Dang, dude. <laughs> this is kind of cool. <laughs> dude, that's that's actually, like, really satisfying somehow. I want him to do the big spin again. I guess it's kind of rare. This is actually, like, dude, this this pumpkin has got a sweet moveset, you guys. <laughs> like, All right, I'm, all right, we're good. The question is, which of those two do I go for in, like, the start of the fight? Let's use the Dragon Skull Blade. Okay, I definitely like the Twin Blade better on this guy. All right, now that, oh boy. Now the test is, have I forgotten this guy's moveset, right? That's a good way to practice stuff is you, you know, you learn it and then you need that repetition to learn stuff properly. Oh, I didn't even see that he's doing that. Oh my God. All right, Katana. Didn't mean to repost him. Yeah, see? No problem, dude. You learn and then you win, you guys. Learn and then win. Right there. Alright, well the PB I guess is kind of alive, even though I did some I did like an hour of practice mid-run, but that's fine. Is there normally an, an enemy right there? I'm gonna be greedy and get this. Oh. Oh my fuck you. What is that mist? What was this mist? It was a, it must have been a mimic, right? Or what the fuck? I gotta take him out. He's gonna snipe me from behind. Should have enough time while he's respawning. Don't 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 do it. Always spam roll. Oh, it's, oh, that's actually what we needed. Okay, so now I'm wondering, do we have another smithing zone six? Because if we do, then we're basically maxed out on the twin blade. I don't think we have a six. I probably would have bought it. And I know this isn't going to be an easy run to get. In fact, it's going to be very hard to get it. Because there's RNG factors on top of needing to be very good at the game already. No, are you kidding me? All right, I... Uh, too bad I don't have a somber five because the dragon scale blade. I mean, maybe it even is still better for this boss. Well, I would imagine it should be good though, right? Nice damage. Wow. This boss is super weak to lightning, so. Honestly, better duo boss than what's normally here. Yep. You know what? I'm actually I'm I'm starting to like this duo more now that I fight them more. And like when you're in a decent arena, yeah, like at least there's some there's an idea of this being a, a balanced duo fight, right? You know, you're trying to like bait one's attack and then Get the other one. There we go. But you see how lightning does lightning does like an extra tick of damage on these guys. Yeah, I can definitely go for more punish. But.
that nice stun. Okay, this attack is a little concerning. Oh my god. Yeah, that's the stun you get when you use lightning on these guys. And you hit them enough, then you get that nice stun. Somber Minor Bell 4. Ah, oh, that's first 7 and 8, dude. That's not what we need. I'm gonna get some more decks for the katana, because I actually, I really like this katana. This is another instance of, like, the, the mod. Oh. Oh, boy. I was gonna say the mod enemies being easier than the, the normal ones, but this is actually, it's gonna be worth it for me to learn. I, I don't really know any other way through here, other than just, like, going straight behind them. Like, I know you can go to the left, but there's more enemies over there. How much poise damage does Mighty Shot do with just, like, standard arrows? Oh, oh. I'm just kidding. Here we go. What's up, Elden Refrigerator? Yeah, see, like, I guess I could run and jump into the window, but then <laughs> there's, like, a whole pile of enemies over there that I don't really want to deal with. All right, it all just kind of depends on what enemy we get up here, though. Like, we could easily get an enemy that doesn't allow us to do anything. Oh, nice. Literally the perfect enemy. Oh, wait. So, I think what I do here is... Imagine there's like a boomerang guy below us and he snipes me from, up, from down there. I'm going to get the grace this time. Because last time I ran through here and then I picked up like a, an upgrade material material that I needed. And then I went back, but then I didn't get this grace. So I had to do all that again. Come on, dude. Give me a six. Summer five or smithing stone six. All right, here we go. This is a... Oh. I'm gonna try another fully charger too. Might be risky. How did he die like that? Oh god. Oh! Okay, I, I do... Yo, wait. That's actually what we need right there, I think. There we go. Nice, dude. I should pro practice that boss a little bit more. I, I know the moveset, sort of. Which boss am I afraid of? Like, on, on this run specifically? Probably, like... Um, so the duo bosses I don't like. Oh, no, I guess that's not what we needed. Oh, I guess it, it was the four, right? There's only four smithing stone bell bearings. Damn it. A lot, of, like any of those that I don't know very well, and especially NPC fights, because NPC fights are just garbage. Maybe I shouldn't have spent all of that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it could be Estelle again. But, but it, I mean, it, it could also maybe be like Mimic. 
going too far. <laughs> oh shit, I don't really know this enemy very well, do I? Oh! Oh, he's poisoned, shit. Maybe, maybe... He's I'm also got his headbutt attack, right? Ever. Oh god, this is not good. <laughs> There's another enemy I don't know well. This is going too far. Can I backstab him? Oh, I can. Oh my god, that I think that was really close. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Yeah, nice move set, dude. That's what you get for being huge. Here we go. Is we need to like keep track of what upgrade materials the, the merchants that I never visited. Or the merchants that I can't get the bell bearing for have. You know, I also totally forgot to visit the beach merchant. Wow, he had the five I needed the whole time. We're looking for a six at this point. Let's see who we get. <laughs> of course. Classic Knight's Cavalry. We basically get a Knight's Cavalry every single run. I'm not even going to try to sneak up on you. You're going to like insta swipe me. Imagine if it was Knight's Cavalry duo. Yo, that was some serious damage right there. Oh, look at our damage. I hate that attack. Our our build is actually kind of crazy. Like, even though we only have a plus 17, we have, like, the thorny cracked tier. We have ritual sword and seppuku. So... And we just have a very good build. And Golden Vow. <laughs> okay. Duo Crystallian. <laughs> Crystallian Spear Warrior. Crystallian Staff Warrior. No. Oh. Okay. Come on, dude. Oh my god, it's the fucking synchronized fuckers, dude. It, surely. Nice. Oh, this is the wrong one. Oh, this is the wrong one. Oh no, what a mistake. <laughs> I went for the wrong one. But maybe it's okay. Maybe that one will just sit back and do nothing while I can take this one out. Yeah, you want to go for the, the magic one first for obvious reasons. Yep, and that's why you go for the magic one first. Because of these garbage attacks. I don't even know what to get at this point. But, you know, hopefully plus 17 is enough. Okay, here we go. Yeah, what a great build. Like, we actually have four decently useful talismans. I mean, I guess the Illigreed's not super useful, but... Um, okay. It's the only issue here is that I'm not really used to fighting this boss with, like, a slower weapon.
Even though this weapon's not really slow. Oh boy. Okay, I, oh boy. I should have run in there. This guy scares me when I'm at range, but I gotta get, I gotta get in somehow. Here we go. How to get in range of him? There we go. 10 hits, dude. And and this could have been like this would have actually been a decent run if uh if I had known the move set of the pumpkin duo cuz then it would have been like yeah, it would have been I guess a a 6 hit. All right, new PB though. 10 hits, dude. Pretty clean. Look at that clean end game. Yeah, we're going to do another run. Yeah, GG. You guys, that was a nice run, man. New seed, new run. And we'll see if we can get less than 10. 10's not bad, man. Like that's actually really not bad. Thanks again to Naraka Bladepoint for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check out the game using the link in the description below.